أشهد أن لا إله إلا So it was. Muhammad took no revenge and allowed none. He declared Mecca a holy place. No one may shed blood or cut down a tree or kill a living thing in Mecca. Soon all Arabia was converted, not only to the new worship, but to the new laws, manners, attitudes contained in Islam. The Prophet had lived to see his work done, but now he began to feel the nearness of death. One great act of his prophethood remained, the setting of its seal. He called the people to him, and he spoke for the last time his message of surrender to God and humanity to man. O oh, mankind, listen well. I may not be with you much longer. The weak among you, feed them on what you eat, dress them as you are dressed. You will meet your God and he will call you to account for your actions. Let those who are present warn those who are absent. You are all descended from Adam, and the best among you is he who most regards God. Think deeply about what I say. Let all your feuds be abolished. You must know that every Muslim is the brother of every other Muslim and all Muslims are brothers one of another. Between Muslims there are no races and no tribes. Nor must you take anything from your brother except what is given freely. Do not oppress, and do not be oppressed. O oh, my people, I am but a man. It may be that the angel of death will visit me soon, and death will overtake me. But I have left you a book, revealed by God, the Koran, which is light and guidance. Now he repeated to the people the final revelation of the Koran, the seal and termination. Not Muhammad's words, but God's word. This day I have perfected your religion for you, and completed my favor to you, and have chosen for you Islam as your religion. On June the 8th, 632, in his 63rd year, Muhammad died. Many of his followers could not believe the fact. How can such a man die? But Abu Bekr, the Prophet's friend, stood up in the mosque. If anyone worships Muhammad, let him know that Muhammad is dead. But he who worships God, let him know that God is alive and cannot die. They buried Mohammed beside his mosque in Medina. But the religion he preached found its place in the heart of man. It endured. It multiplied. Still to Mecca they come, mankind. The people of Islam dressed in their pilgrim white. All equal before God, all united in this place of prayer, each individual soul joined in a community of worship. One God. <laughs> 